Tequila is one of the most popular spirits in America. It gets drunk all over the place in shots and margaritas. And a lot of times, a lot of people just think of uh, tequila cocktails as just the margarita. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really funky, awesome cocktail that uses some pretty out there ingredients that was named after a ghost called the Debbie Don't. Tequila is one of the most popular spirits in America. It gets drunk all over the place in shots and margaritas. Uh, some people even like Palomas and things like that. But a lot of times when we think of cocktails that uh, include tequila, it's usually something sweeter, something limey, something citrusy. We usually think of things like a margarita, something a little bit easier to sip. And while margaritas and Palomas are great, uh, I think that there's a lot more that you can experiment with these flavors. And this cocktail, the Debbie Don't, comes from uh, the book called Regarding Cocktails by Sasha Petrosky. It's an excellent cocktail book written by a legendary bartender and bar owner. Sasha was the owner of the legendary bar called Milk and Honey in New York City. And this cocktail, the Debbie Don't, was created by Zachary Gelna Rubin. And uh, he worked at a place called Dutch Kills and Sasha came in and helped him develop this cocktail. He actually named this cocktail after the ghost that used to haunt the bathrooms of the place that he used to work at. I love that because I've worked in quite a few different restaurants where there was always a little bit of a legend uh, that the place was haunted. Uh, when we took over this restaurant, some of our employees told us that this place was haunted. I have yet to see our ghost, but knock on wood, I do not see them. And I, I found out recently that a lot of different restaurants and industry folk have different ghost stories about restaurants. So if you have a cool ghost story about the restaurant that you worked in, leave it down in the comments below, I would love to know. But before we get to the cocktail recipe, welcome to my channel, my name is Louis. Uh, if you're new here, I make cocktail videos, I talk about my favorite spirits, I teach you how to make better drinks, and I talk about what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, come on over here, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to never miss out on any of the videos that I post. But all right, enough of my rambling, let's get back to this awesome cocktail that Debbie don't. So what I love about this cocktail is that it combines Reposado tequila with Averna Amaro and maple syrup. Uh, those are not ingredients that I had ever seen put together. And so when I was flipping through this awesome book, I saw those ingredients like, no, I gotta try it. It may sound kind of strange, right? So you have a very earthy, grassy, delicious, caramelly vanilla Reposado tequila. Uh, you have a kind of bitter and interesting herbal Amaro in Averna. You have that nice citrusy, fresh squeezed lemon juice and maple syrup, which is maple syrup. Um, we're using some 100% um, ver pure Vermont maple syrup because I'm from New England and I have some local pride and Vermont maple syrup is delicious. Also, I just happen to have this bottle in the back. But all right, this is a shaken cocktail. Uh, so we are going to be building this in our small shaker. We are going to be doing one ounce of the Terramana tequila. And uh, if you actually, I recently did a review on Terramana tequila, and this is a tequila owned by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So if you wanna learn more about it, I actually have a link right over here that you can get to know more about this tequila brand. But one ounce of our Terramana Reposado tequila. We're gonna do, gosh, it's so hard to open these. It's a little, oh God. One eternity later. We are going to do one ounce of our, um, um, Averna Amaro. It's like a dark, almost chocolatey kind of color, which I find very, very interesting. We are going to do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And last but not least, we are going to be doing a half ounce of 100% maple syrup. It's fascinating to me, maple syrup in a cocktail. I've done it with like maple, uh, maple syrup old fashions or things like that, but but never like in a citrusy cocktail. So it's a very interesting flavor combination. We're gonna fill this up with some ice. Lock our tin and give it a good shake. All right, let's pop that open. Grab our coupe glass and double strain into our coupe glass. So it almost has kind of like a coffee-ish kind of color, like a brightish brown. Um, it's a very interesting, interesting color to me. Um, it kind of looks very cloudy, very brown, you know, it, it's safe to say it's not really the most appetizing looking cocktail. It kind of looks like 
dirty water, but I promise you it is delicious. Right, let's give this one a taste so we can talk about it. Mmm. What is fascinating about this cocktail is that all four of these ingredients really shine through. The caramel uh, ish and the vanilla, the caramel and the vanilla notes from the Terramana Reposado really combine well with those uh, herbal and almost bitter elements of the Averna. The citrus really picks up this cocktail so that it's not just like very heavy and dark in flavor. It brightens up the whole thing and the maple syrup gives a silky smooth richness to the cocktail that is just incredible. Um, using 100% maple syrup in cocktails is something that is really needs to be explored a little bit more of, in my opinion, because I think it can be a game changer for a lot of cocktails. But there you have it, the Debbie Don't, a cocktail named after a ghost that is delicious. It's even kind of spooky looking. If you enjoyed this episode, it would mean the world to me if you can come on over here and hit that like button and share this with a friend. I'm really trying to grow my channel here and it would mean the world to me if you could help me do that. And let me know down in the comments below, do you have any scary ghost stories of working in the industry? I would love to hear them. There's a spot that I used to check out quite a lot that they actually kept the, uh, there's like, they say that it was haunted by a little girl who died there and they actually kept her dress. It's really crazy. It's called Stone's Public House in Ashland, Mass. If you Google it, you'll find it. It's pretty messed up. <laughs> um, but that's enough for me. I got an awesome cocktail to get back to and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.